space reignite in this area that carries the government of the kingdom and the realm of eternity. Just at the end there, I just stood in the midst of, of those places that we had established in the spirit. like just having a big so beautiful he's so beautiful if we're not here for him we're not here for anything he wants to unveil his heart to us he said of David he's a man after my own heart or is he a man that knew the heart of the father he wants you to know his heart he wants us to know his heart it was mentioned. He was esteemed. He wasn't. He wasn't in for any, any. You know, it, it, it passion, desire motivated him to run after his father. He wasn't following any, any protocols. to the law of eternity and the law of 
of eternity is the law of the Spirit. Of life. Not just the Spirit, but the Spirit of life is the law, like gravity in the natural. And we will see that realm come through us and, and um, invade, cultivate. We will present that realm into the earth. This is what we this is who we are. This is the will of God. The will of God is not just to get a pink car or a, a blue hat. Or shall I go to bed now? Or should I stay up? You make that decision. <laughs> desires that we would become as he is in the fullness it's not what we do it's who we are because a lot of us are still running around after what we can do for God running around of how how um, even prosperous and wealthy we can become there is nothing wrong with all of that sort of stuff, but number one has to be Him. Listen to this in Psalm 18. This is the dimension. This is the realm in which we are supposed to be cultivating as the body of Christ. Psalm 18 verse 7. Then the Lord, sorry, then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations of the hills also quaked and were shaken because he was angry. Smoke went up from his nostrils and devouring fire from his mouth. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down with darkness under his feet. He rode upon a cherub and flew. He flew upon the wings of the winds. He made darkness his secret place. His canopy around him was dark waters and thick clouds of the skies from the brightness before him. His thick clouds passed with hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord thundered from heaven and the Most High uttered his voice. Hailstones and coals of fire, he sent out his arrows and scattered the foes. Lightnings in abundance, and he vanquished them all. There is a dimension, there is a place that we are supposed to live in. A lot of us are on the outside because what it takes to come in is laying down our life, being a living sacrifice, offering up the aroma of our worship until, until the thunder and the raging fire starts to roll all over us and the spirit of the fear of the Lord we go through until we go through the dark was it the thick clouds and dark waters of that canopy to then meet him the scripture here wasn't about just going to heaven but it was about him coming into the earth it was Mount Sinai when the Lord met Moses and Moses went in and all Israel was like no 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 you go up there you go up there because they freaked out at the sound of the voice of the Lord was there any moment this morning that you freaked out that you didn't understand what was taking place in the sound of the thunder and the lightnings and the, the, the flashes of fire that were shooting and then the winds that came to literally change the substance of your waters to come into him recreating you bringing us into the image to see him face to face that your flesh no longer exists but is the divine being of 
who you are come into presence of the Almighty El Elyon, our Creator, the Most High, our Father face to face. When you go through the breath of the lion and the sounds of the screeches of the eagles to see and to sit with him, is this our normal? <laughs> it's supposed to be our normal. <laughs> and the turbulence on the way. <laughs> the fear that hits you, that's a good thing. And then when we surrender into that, come into the place, the secret place between the heavens, in the heavens, and the realm of eternity to then, to then see that fire consume our environment, to see that dimension break forth around us and the territory. This is the place we need. We don't need to go and face a devil. We don't need to go and face a demon. We need to face our Father who has breath. Um, smoke coming out of his nostrils. Breath, a consuming fire that burns up all our enemy. There is another realm, there is another place of existence that we are to cultivate and walk in as his body. But we have walked according to the earth, but it's time to walk according to eternity. To not wait till our body passes like drops to enter eternity now the law by the law of the spirit of life we can enter in to eternity now the law of the spirit of life in Christ Yeshua has set me free from the law of sin and death come on it's not just, okay, cool, now we're going to go to heaven when we die. It's, it, it's, 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 um, it's a law. Gravity is the law. And we enter into the law of the spirit of life now. Therefore, the law of eternity is in effect now. Right now in our, our life, right now in this environment, we have to get into this place. We have to come into this place. We have to shift our attention into what man can give us, into the face of the Father. Or shift our attention from what devil is trying to stop us to into the face of the Father. the best way to burn those things up it's the fire of God the glory of God and the dimension that is released is the blessing of the Lord the blessing of the Lord is not something that I work with my own hand the blessing of the Lord is like Abraham he got offered to take the spoils and he said no least they say you got rich out of your own hand but the Lord makes me rich there is a blessing there is a dimension there is a place of walking that is that is far greater than what we know which is available for all of us to walk in. We've walked in 
a way. We've walked in a dimension. And all those ways are not wrongs because they are ways, they are dimensions. And they work on our behalf. But there is another way. And will you position your heart to say, more Lord. I don't want to just have what I have. I want to move into the fullness of who you are. I don't want to be where I've been. I want to allow my own narrow-mindedness to be stripped away that I would see him afresh and see him anew. Ooh, every day, that's every day, every day, every single, every single day, every day. My face is towards him every day. Fully satisfied, but never satisfied. Because you know there's more to come in to the manifestation of. The hunger that we have in this place will draw in the goodness of our Father to unveil whatever He wants to unveil in your life to receive the fullness of it so then we are changed and we see Him like we've never seen Him before that we come into a dimension that releases such a glory, power, brightness, divinity eternity the fire it says here will consume the fire goes before him and consumes the enemy sin in our body sickness and disease decay to be in the presence of the Lord and to hunger for nothing more We are a nation hungry after Him. And we are a nation that is willing to let go, to pay the price, to do what it takes. And what starts off as a seed will grow to a mighty tree that will overshadow the nation. and we got up and we dove into the deep and in that place we grabbed from the deep and started to pull up this land we are this land we are this land and we started to pull it up and move it forward in the glory of who he is this is why we're here to move it into a place that it's never been there is no looking back anymore there is looking straight ahead into him and being taken by his spirit and the sound of his voice that will break open inside of us that we will pay the price to resonate with him to let the sound of that dominion, sound of creation, the creative life force of our Father as sons of God. You are the sound that needs to crack open. You are the voice. Come on. When we declare this is your that the Father is breaking open outside of you to take that place. Take it. Take it. Take it. Come on. Take it. Take it. 
Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it. We're not going to do it by old Christianity. We're not going to do it by our flesh. But those that would come into the spirit of the fear of the Lord that will crack open the lion and the lamb inside of us. And we will march through this place and untether everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ. Because of the breath, the breath of Yahweh, the breath of Yahweh, the breath of the Almighty. It's not time to look back. It's time to move forward. And the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. But it is the one, the violent ones, the uncompromising ones that will take it by force. Because they've met in this place. And they have cultivated and established an abiding in Him. That's what it means by not by might nor by power, but by His Spirit, because you have established an abiding, which causes a, a, a wall of fire around you that wherever it go it just consumes and the, the, the territory and the dimension and the realm eternity nothing can be in that place except goodness glory power and dimension of the Father sweeping wherever we go the abiding place that's what I meant when Yeshua said those that abide in me I abide in you place